everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So this morning I am going to show you guys, look what I got in front of me here. I got some sea moss. Yes, 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 yes. And so I'm going to show you guys how I prepare my sea moss today. Now I'm not going to demonstrate because I have, I, um, I already made the sea moss. So I'm just going to explain to you guys how I made it. Okay. Because I've been getting so many questions on how do I prepare sea moss, even though, even though I did a video like a couple of years ago, on CMOS and showing you guys how I prepared it. As a matter of fact, that video is on YouTube and it has almost 200,000 views on it. And I'm still surprised that people are constantly asking me, how do I prepare my CMOS? So this is just another way that I prepare my CMOS. I mean, there isn't just one way to prepare your, C to prepare your CMOS. You can make your CMOS just about any any way you want to, okay? There's no right and wrong way. There's no up. I mean, in some cases, there might be. You don't want to constantly keep boiling your sea moss, okay? So we're going to talk about that too. All right, so yes. So this is, I literally just prepared this just now. And so I'm going to just uh, talk to you guys briefly how uh, about how I prepared it. Um, I'm holding the camera with my hand, so I'm not able to demonstrate, okay? So that's why I just went ahead and did it. Okay, so here's the moss, okay? And for those of you who know, my sister, she lives in Jamaica. I am Jamaican. I'm from Jamaica. My family is in Jamaica. So my sister, she is the one that sent me my moss all the way from Jamaica. She gets it from the local fishermen there. And um, so she ship it to me. And she also has a website that she sells the moss straight from Jamaica. Um, she gets it from the local divers there, the fishermen that dives. And they get the moss and she goes and she get it from them. And um she, um, you know, she send it to whoever want the moss. Uh, she mainly ship it to the United States, all right, um, because it's a little bit more difficult to ship things to other part of the country, I mean, other part of the world. So, um, yeah, she does have a website online. It's called jamaicacmoss.com, jamaicacmoss.com. But anyway, I'm going to get into this right here and just explaining to you guys again how I made my sea moss because so many you know just a lot of people keep asking me how do you make the sea moss how do you make the sea moss okay so what I do so here's the moss right here right as you can see sea moss comes in many different colors all right um there's not just one color for sea moss okay and this is the dried moss right here now when you put the moss in water the moss is going to expand, okay? That's what it does literally. I mean, it just expands. So I'm using literally just about a handful, as you guys can see, all right? And if you get your moss and you see any little type of, um, you know, any little thing on your moss like that, it's natural. It's coming from the ocean. That's just what it is, okay? Th these are just little tiny little seaweeds that are on your moss, all right? So your moss is not dirty. No, it's just little seaweeds that are on your moss, all right? So what I do... What I did was I soak this overnight, okay? I just put it in some water and I soak it overnight and then I wash it, okay? And um and then when I woke up this morning, I put some water on the stove, right? And I um let the water heat up a little and then I just drop the moss that I already soaked overnight. I just drop that in my warm water and I just cover the pot turn the stove off, cover the pot, and just let it kind of sit in the warm water for about an hour, okay? And just kind of soften it up a little bit. I do not boil my moss, okay? I know a lot of people boil their moss. I don't boil my moss. And the reason I don't boil my moss is because your sea moss has a lot of nutrients, and when you're boiling it, you're pretty much getting rid of all that nutrients that you're that's in your moss, okay? So when, when you're boiling it, you are removing all of that nutrients, um, f by boiling it. All right. So I don't boil my moss. I soak it overnight, get rid of that water that I soaked it in. And then I kind of heat up a little bit of water and I toss my moss in that warm water and I just cover the pot and let it sit in that hot water there for just, you know, maybe an hour, soften it up a little bit. And, um, and then I toss it in my blender. That's what I do. I throw it in my blender and then I'm going to go over here, right? And so this is pretty much what I put in my in my sea moss this morning. 
okay I have some cranberry some dried cranberry right here I have some dried raisin right there and this is pretty much what I use to sweeten my um my my sea moss because these are sweet okay I have some kia seed right here uh, not, not kia I guess you guys call it chia right Ch Ch -ch 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 chia <laughs> this is some chia seed right here and this is um some powdered flax seed over here all right and I have some some um whole uh oat right here some oatmeal there you go and I have some nutmeg right there and um uh, man I forgot my uh my cinnamon I don't know how I forgot my cinnamon I did add a little pinch of cinnamon in there but I forgot my cinnamon okay um so that's some nutmeg right there and for those of you if you are a Dr. Sebi fan or fanatic as I like to call you guys this video is not for you because we use nutmeg and cinnamon over here okay so if you're a Dr. Sebi fanatic and you come underneath this video talking about you know oh Dr. Sebi said we shouldn't eat nutmeg and cinnamon you can go sit down somewhere I don't give a damn okay that's it um so we have some nutmeg and we have some uh vanilla extract no that's real vanilla right there that's not the <laughs> that's not the fake vanilla all right that's some real vanilla and that was very expensive too okay real vanilla is very expensive guys just so y'all know okay so so that's it and then oh we we have some coconut milk all right and some coconut milk there you don't have to use coconut milk if you don't want to um you can use whatever plant milk that you have it could be almond milk rice milk whatever milk that you want to use um i don't advocate using cow's milk okay no animal milk for me all right that's just me whatever you choose to use that's your problem but uh plant is what i deal with okay so there you have it so um so what i do is just i pretty much just um like i said i i toss my sea moss in the blender and then i pour my coconut milk right along in there you can pour as much coconut milk as you want. It really depends on how thick you want your your sea moss to be. Okay? It really depends on how thick you want it, all right? And so cranberry, um, raisin, a little bit of oat, you know what I mean? Um, some chia seeds, some flax seed, a little bit of nutmeg, and some um, vanilla. And I did um, add a little bit, pinch of... Um, cinnamon in there as well all right and so that's pretty much what i did and i just blend it all up and voila there you go that's that's my sea moss right there now there the other video i did um i did have i did prepare it a different way i add some bananas in there some fruits in there so as I mentioned earlier, you really um, there is really no right or wrong way to make your 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 sea moss. You just make it however you want. And for those of you who don't want to use, you know, um, like these things to sweeten it, you can add a little bit of on uh, honey in there. You can ha add some dates in there. You can add some maybe a little bit of brown sugar in there. Whatever you know, it's really up to your taste. You know what I mean? Some people add a little bit of brown sugar. Some people add a little bit of honey. You know, whatever. I choose to add like some type of plant stuff. You know, whatever. I mean, I know that sugar comes from plant, but it is what it is. Whatever you you, you it's up to you, really. Um, so that's it. All right. So that's, that's pretty much how I, one of the way, one of the many ways that I, um, prepare my, my sea moss. All right. So I hope that helps you guys. Okay. I hope I was able to help. You could pretty much toss just about anything in your sea moss guys. Really? I mean, it's up to you. The possibilities are endless. All right. So go ahead and enjoy your sea moss. Okay. Love you guys. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Doesn't that look good? Oh my god. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this right now. Right after I turn this video off, I am gonna murder this moss. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.